Weigol village is safe for now. The vampires have lost one of their commanders, Brauner, and news will travel back to the Dark Lord quickly. This is a blow, but it won't take long for them to regroup. Luckily, one of the villagers has revealed to us a secret path into the demon's castle. This will lead Gabriel into the sewers, and then up into the very jaws of death. The villagers called him God Savior, and his weapon they called Vampire Killer. Ah, Gandolfi, how that would make you smile. As for me, once my business here is done, I shall follow my friend and aid him where I can. Ah, yes, we have the Vampire Killer now. <clears throat> well, we, we've always had it. It's now called the Vampire Killer, the Combat Cross. Anyway. As most of you know, the Vampire Killer is the official name of the web other Belmonts have used. Anyway, this is a puzzle stage. I'm going to save that health fountain for later. Alright. So we got this um, ooze stuff that doesn't quite hurt us, but oh, what am I doing? But it's still quite annoying. Anyway, I'm getting up all my magic for that enemy. I'm going to try and kill him real fast. Anyway. Well, we need to go to the area beneath us, which, as you can kind of tell, oh, yeah. shit, 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 shit. But see, we can't go down there yet. We actually have to get past the part first, which I gotta remember how to do. I think, yeah, once you hit the switch, just run. That's right. Anyway, we run past both of them. And then there's a stake over here. We start using the stake. We are now introduced to Skeleton Warriors, which are actually destroyed by ultimate attacks quite easily. Well, the other ones are. But your trick is you just knock them down and then you have to destroy the bones before they get back up. Yeah, I know I'm using the ultimate attacks, but see, it guarantees, oh crap, no, stay off, but guarantees the bones to be destroyed. Anyway, they also have a little shield that protects them, kind of. And, uh, and once they're like that, you hit heavy thing to your ground and they're dead. Anyway, now we can use this. I do not remember if this is timed or not. I don't think it is. Anyway, let's refill magic. The shadow gym is just like catty corner to the the fountains things. There, it's like in the corner down there in the sewer. Anyway, like towards the screen to the right. Anyway, get out of there. We jump in here. Now, we get this little bag that gives us infinite knives. Doesn't give us infinite knives, but yeah. The way we hit this door, the gate opens, but see all these spikes come out of the ground. And we can't let that happen, so let's actually hit this door then to shut the gate. Oh, it doesn't shut the gate. Crap. 
Do I have to wait for this to end? Yeah, I gotta wait for this to end. Or I can skip, yep, see, when you get back here it goes down. Anyway, so in order to get past this gap, you actually activate your magic, and you throw the dagger all the way down. So open the gate, and that's the stage complete. That was three stages in 20 minutes. I might be able to get this whole chapter done within, uh, well, by the way, that stage actually marks the halfway point of this entire Let's Play. Because the other, I think I said in the last episode, the last uh, nine chapters have only 25 stages to them. Anyway, let's start out with our trek through Castlevania now. The actual castle time. Despite his best efforts to try entering the castle unnoticed, the vampires know that Gabriel is coming. Night is fast approaching, and soon he will have to use all his wits and powers to defeat what nightmares inhabit this place of death and decay. His strength grows by the day, and yet his hate intensifies deep within. He eats little and sleeps less. She is there in his thoughts, his beloved Marie. He knows that his journey is far from over. This castle, I fear, will push him into the abyss from which there is no escape. All right, we start the stage with a little bit of a platforming section. Guess sent the mood. All right. I don't remember what this trial is. What is this trial? Oh, yep. Yeah. I remember now. Uh, I believe holy wires are across that gap. We have a hell fountain here. You're actually supposed to climb this wall, but since I have double jumped, why don't I just jump? Let me let me jump over this. I know I can jump over. I know I can jump over this. See, there we go. I jumped over it. Anyway, another stake, but it doesn't matter because we gotta deal with these assholes. Oh, come on. And we gotta deal with two of them at once again. Ooh, that was actually a good thing there. Sorry if I'm getting quiet again. I hate these guys so much. Anyway. Oh, sweet. Killing time. you a bit. Oh, I actually killed him normally. He actually drops a dark crystal. He always drops a dark crystal. But anyway, we now work on this. Ah, oh, shit. That was awesome. I tried to jump over that, and I couldn't jump over it. Forgot things like that. Like that. Was, that's one of my complaints about this game. Small things like that. Like you can't jump over that. I mean, you can jump over fences. You know, it kind of irritates me. Anyway, we have infinite magic down here, which is pretty cool and stuff. As you kind of tell, I plan on uh, maxing out right now because we got to deal with skeleton warriors. Woo! I blocked that. And we would kill enough and uh, something's bound to show up. Anyway, in here is where a gym would be. 
showing that off because, well, I can. There we go. Alright. Ward time! We haven't seen one of these in forever! Booyah! Actually, what are their weaknesses? I haven't checked any enemies' lists in this episode. Let me go ahead and go through those real fast. See, so, yeah, I was on. Yeah, I showed them. I showed the gals. So the vampire warriors. I have the super weak actually. Anime armor. Lieutenant Brawner. Yeah, he's an ass. Uh, skeleton warriors. Okay, no, you've seen them all. Up to date. Crap. Square. Come on, I can kill you without using too many cheap tactics. Okay, sweet. Hey, gonna use this to heal, uh, get all my stuff back real fast. Anyway, the challenge this mission is once you're on the war, destroy some skeleton knights. I do not see any. Alright, let's just go ahead and uh, climb up this. Once we get up here, the two vampires that locked us in, we can go ahead and kill right now. Alright, strangle the warg. And then. We don't have to, but see, because I want to be at full health, we jump, we go across this. If you fall back down there, the Silicon Warriors will summon another warg for you to fight. Uh, there's also a dark crystal up here as well. I think there might be a gem. I'm not quite sure. But like, if you want like infinite EXP, this is a good spot for EXP in this game, because wargs give you like a good amount. So does Vampire Warriors, because you have to kill the two of them almost every time. Alright, back here. Gotta deal with our favorite friend some more. You can try and go through that, but you can't. I just love how they keep on giving you magic. Like, they want you to be cheap. They want you to do stuff like this. I know it's not good practice, but damn! Now they're all dead. Go ahead and use this. I think I killed them all. There might be one more. Nope. By the way, those mice will actually come into play a little bit later on. If you notice, there's been mice running around. They're not just for scenery. In fact, you could say one of them actually saves your ass in a later stage. Anyway, running up here. We're in the fourth stage of this episode at 30 minutes. Wow! Told you this was going to be one of the shortest episodes. I haven't died yet. I don't consider me not being able to jump over that thing an error.